So why do you exist? Why? You came to people in order to tell them how great it is to be together. That's your entire goal, to turn them into a, a kibbutz, uh, like a communal settlement. You want to speak to them about the connection and the special force that lies in it because, and that's where you continue within yourself, because by the force of connection will discover the Creator and bring Him contentment. You must continue with the formula until the end of it. Begin with it and end with it. The Creator must be in the beginning of your thought and at the end of it. And in the middle is this world. It's like you start from the first state of infinity and so f go through the entire second state and in this world and move towards the final correction, just like that. You're making an action that connects this entire thread from the beginning of creation to the end of it. I'll explain better. Before the action, it's clear that, it, that I should. After the action, it's also clear. As you are in the midst of the action, uh, in the middle of the action. During the action is your major work. Now, OK, great. So uh, during that time, I can, as a mantra, tell myself occasionally what you now said, but it's not felt in the heart. So I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing in order to bring contentment to the Creator, in order to bring good to the public. Until the heart will begin to feel. It's like when you start a car, you know. So you start the engine and you start it, you try to restart it and restart it and it doesn't want to start. And you do it again and again. But the question is if I have to constantly, each time... Yes, yes, because each time you do it with a corporeal desire that still doesn't relate to the spiritual desire. You just say something like a baby that doesn't understand what it's saying until it begins to be clear to you. That's how the light affects the vessels, scrutinizes them, connecting them, until a person feels what he says. And I'm telling you this from experience, that this is how it works, although it takes time. But there's no choice. Time means the number of corrections you have to undergo with your vessels. And each time, you make a correction. And our work, especially, that we truly need the upper force right now his help. Here we have to realize if we, even in the most artificial manner, begin to speak about the, our need for the upper force, by this you promise yourself that enemies won't arise against you and various disturbances to force you to need the upper force. By this, you determine whether you're taking the path of light or the path of suffering. Try and see. And I'm telling you, this is something evident. That's why I'm warning you. It, it can go this way or that way. Because what, what is the Creator? The, the Creator wants, you, wants to force you to connect to Him. If you do it with the, the group and the importance of the goal and all of that, then this is the good path and short one, and otherwise the help made against will arise. That's how it works. We can now actually feel it on our flesh in these states. It's excellent. It's, a, it's aid from above. It's a revelation. It's the revelation of the leadership. Yes, Danny.